All right, here's the third and last on colors. And uh, let's show you what we've got here. Let's compile it. I'm not going to do two parts. You can see what it looks like without the colors from the previous videos. Uh, but here it is, and you see we have the button colors, which we spoke about, the label colors, which we spoke about, and we have the uh, scroll bar, which you can see the numbers going by as the scroll bar goes up and down. Okay, how did I do that? And uh, here's the code. Um, it's relatively simple. It's somewhat similar to before. First of all, uh, first of all, the widget is scroll one up at the top here. And secondly, uh, I've created another CSS provider called CSS Scroll. And um, well, I've created it there. It's a pointer. And then I actually allocate it there to CSS Scroll. And then down here is where I actually load it. It's messier. Uh, there's more CSS, and you can. Um, Play with your CSS um, and maybe modify it some more, but this is how you do it. So first of all, I am loading the CSS into the provider CSS scroll, and the um, first of all, we get the slider itself, and it's got a border width, it's got a color, uh, the border color, it's got padding, uh, none. Um, so I'm not padding the thing around. You can fool with these and get all sorts of special effects and so forth. Um, border radius um, rounds it, as you'll see in a moment. Um, well, I'll bring it up and you, and you can see it again. Um, the, um, the slider is rounded. You see the rounding there on the edges? You can make them non-rounded or more rounded. Uh, but that's the number you play with. And you can see there is an outline color, which you really don't see. Um, there's a background color, which is yellow. And you have a border color, which is blue. Uh, and then you've got the trough. I've specified the trough to be gray and some other parameters. And then you run it against CSS scroll again. OK, uh, let's uh, modify it and change that down to a radius of 1 and see what happens. OK, notice that this curved over here. Now, kill that. And I'll recompile, and I'll rerun it, and now you see it's a it's it's a it's a rectangular, which um, might be desirable in some applications, but uh, you can play with it and get different effects. So this actually turns out to be fairly simple. It's just really more of the same. You're adding CSS to the particular uh, widget. Finding the CSS again is difficult. It is in that um, that that link up above here. If you look down there, you can find it. And you will, um, and they give some other options as well. But this is how you apply those options in Glade, uh, using the ones you you Google for, in you know Stack Overflow and so forth. Will in very many cases not work because they are not assuming you. Are, they assume you. They don't assume you're using Glade. They assume you've um, created the widgets um, manually with all of the individual creation functions. But Glade does that for you, and as a result, it adds its own CSS as appropriate. The only thing I wanted to mention, of course, again, is the... Um, I'm hitting the wrong buttons over here. I wanted to mention that the, um, uh, that the business of the, um, uh, the toggle button, you would probably create two of these, one for uh, not toggled, one for toggled, and you would change it down in the, um, uh, in the callback routine. Callback routine for toggle is... Uh, Toggle button. Oh, and toggle one. Yeah, there it is. This is the. There's a lot of toggles because the radio buttons are toggled. The check button's toggled, but toggle one. That's the uh, check button. And you can determine if something is active or inactive. And knowing whether it's active or inactive, you can then appropriately set the uh, CSS provider for it. Okay. Um, those colors turned out to be a lot of time to figure them out. So I would. Um, you can get all sorts of effects. And um, not just this, um, the ones I've picked here, but uh, go into that website and you'll find a lot of possibilities, including just plain old solid colors. All right, so this was a quickie.